I went with the science already. Uh, we had a paper that we wrote that cited 50 references from the NIH, from JAMA, from reputable sources. The evidence was there. I, we wrote a paper, published it, and uh, it showed two plus two equals four. Common right. sense, intuitive, healthcare, that budesonide is the answer. The evidence is there. Oxford University has done the randomized controlled trial that uh, just one of the possible uh, treatments, budesonide, can prevent 90% of hospitalizations. Can you imagine 90% of 500,000 would be 450,000 Americans that died? Um, they usually die in the hospital. Um, does that mean 450,000 Americans could have possibly been saved if they were treated with early effective treatment? I'm Dr. Larry Burchette, MD, an actively practicing ER doctor and the medical expert for Fox in San Francisco. Let's get into this viral video by Dr. Richard Bartlett, who claims to have the silver bullet treatment for coronavirus using inhaled steroids budesonide. Effective treatment that's cost effective, readily available at every pharmacy. Budesonide, and so is it done in an inhaler? It's an know? inhaler, and so it does actually come as an inhaler, but I'm using it in a nebulizer machine. That's simply that's false. Very common medication that nobody knows about. I just have to laugh. But others in the medical community aren't convinced it's what it's cracked up to be. There is no silver bullet at the moment and there might never be. For there now. is no silver bullet response to the virus at the moment. He claims inhaled steroids are the cure for COVID-19. And I wish it was as simple as that. The CDC also says there is no known cure for COVID-19. To, to, you know, there are people that, that, that are, are believe that budesonide and, and, and taking zinc is, 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 is working. Is there any downside to, 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 to doing it? You know, it, there, there's a placebo effect to make you feel yeah. better and less anxious. But in reality, Matthew, it doesn't have any it was effect. A and a community used asthma treatment appears to reduce the need for COVID patients to be hospitalized. Oxford University researchers studying budesonide found that inhaling the steroid can reduce the risk of urgent care by 90% when compared to usual care. Oxford University showed that 90% of hospitalizations and ER visits could be prevented with just one medicine by itself against COVID, budesonide, early treatment. They did two randomized control trials, not just one, but two, the principal trial and the STOIC trial. And Oxford concluded that 90% of hospitalizations could be prevented with just that. Maverick doctor, Dr. Richard Bartlett from West Texas, he made the national news by saying, you know what, I think inhaled budesonide works. And he said this early in the spring, uh, and he was on national news. He says, you know, I'm trying it. I'm a doctor. I'm trying to help my patients. I'm, I'm, I am using empiric treatment. I know there's no randomized trials, but he was doing the right thing.